Hey, what's up, guys? We have just arrived at Boroke Airport. That's our ride from the Hue Hotel. So where are we heading now? We're heading to the port, I guess. To the port, across to this island called Pulakai. Uh, so bago lang to. Yung luma, wala nang nagpa-fly doon. Okay, back to the start. Where are we exactly now? <laughs> the province is called Aklan. And uh, this region that we're in is called Malay. Boracay is the island that's across Boracay it. Boracay is so one island only? Or it's just one island. Just one it's just island. island. It's so popular that they named the airport after it because it's a little yeah. confusing. It's a it little is confusing. confusing. Yeah, it's con it was also confusing for the tourists in back in the day because the airport was always called Katiklan. Mm -hmm. So they would panic. Why are we flying to the Katiklan? We want to go to Boracay. So now, I think this is when they reopened because I haven't been here in two years. They just recently reopened uh, last year after it was shuttered for six months for rehabilitation. So, like Jude mentioned just now, we are in the province of Aklan. Can be confusing for first timers. Oh, this bridge is moving so much. Okay, we made it. Oh! It's so cold right now. Every other beach place that we've been to previously has been really hot. I'm so shocked at how cold the Philippines is. I'm now out at the back of the boat and just want to mention that if we didn't book our journey with the Hill Hotel, it would have taken us way longer to get through the security and get our bags in and all the other things that we just did. I think we only took about five minutes to get through everything and into the boat. Finally off the boat. Oh, this is our next ride to the hotel. Without knowing it, we've reached the Hill Hotel. Go, Jude. Oh, Tao, thank you so much. Yep, that's our keys. No bag at all. Easy for you when you want to go to the beach. Yes, exactly. You don't have to worry about stuff. Your welcome drink is so delicious, and the mango is so sweet, but then it occurred to me. It just occurred to me that we are in Philippines. So this is probably a normal mango for you guys. So this is our room. This is the toilet. Oh, it's immediately a shower. And... Ah, it's separated. Okay, that's interesting. So from the back of Hugh Hotel, we have direct access to this alley and all the way to the end, it actually leads to the beach. So we're gonna find a place to eat on the beach right now. <laughs> Look at the beach. The sand is so white. According to Jude, this is the longest white beach uh, in Asia, four kilometers long the next day good morning guys and the sun is up super bright right now anyway yesterday we went to the beach it was really nice a bit crowded because it's a long holiday here in the philippines and we had a couple of great meals especially at the italian restaurant and we also watched the sunset it was nice so that was pretty much it for last night now we are awake and hungry so we're gonna head for the hotel breakfast that's where it is. Right, before that, I want to quickly mention on the left of the pool after the bar, there's this real cool hangout area, and then you see there are some restaurants here. This is called Station X, and it is, like I said, directly attached to the hotel. What a convenience. Okay, we just found out that we were a bit late today, so we gotta 
quickly go through everything. There's steamed rice and this is pork piccadillo. I can't eat that. Okay, Tomato try. chicken adobo. And what's that? You should try. This is crispy fish. boneless crispy unsalted fish. fish. Try it. So this is Ooh. from Cebu. It's, um, I think I've always I've had this a few times in Sabah. And then you dip it in the mm -hmm. We got wedges, penne pasta, and garlic rice. Got the salad bar right here. Some cheese. And on this side we have some soup. And lastly, the bread. With some drinks there. A nice selection of food for breakfast. Dude, what is this called again? It's called arroz caldo. It's, it's a, a very chicken, fancy name. Yeah, it's chicken, chicken porridge. Yeah, for us it's basically just chicken porridge, right? But mm -hmm. Does anything, is there anything special about Filipino porridge? Um, it looks and tastes pretty much the same. I enjoyed their version of the porridge. Somehow there was a lot more flavour than our usual porridge. I don't know, maybe I miss home, but I really enjoyed the porridge. And also we have this amazing view of the pool. Hey guys, we're going to head for lunch right now. It's at one of the restaurants in Station X below. And if you guys realise, they are playing music almost all day until the evening. So this, this hotel is literally like a like a full day party, right? So this part of Station X is where there is some retail and also there's a spa up there and some restaurants. On this side is the street market where it focuses solely on food and apparently this is the first of its kind in Boracay. Boracay, right? Boracay. Boracay. Keep getting it wrong, Boracay. The oh, first of it in Boracay. There are a lot of food stalls inside here. So these are the full offerings of Station X and as you can see, they've got quite a few to choose from. Considering that this is attached to the hotels, you are pretty much set if you're staying at the Hugh Hotel in Boracay. So the food that we are trying out now is not just from one particular restaurant. We are actually going to be trying the best seller from each of these restaurants. I am so excited for that. So this is the tuna sisik sandwich. But um, is traditionally, traditionally made with yep, that's what I wanted to pork say. Pork mm -hmm. But this is made with tuna. So the grilled oysters just arrived, and on the left we have the yakitori bowl. That is the mushroom parsley fettuccine. Yep, and there's slices of cheese on top, and the dish is infused with a bit of truffles. We can smell it. Yep, you can definitely smell it. They're quite big. Oyster is so delicious, especially with the what do you call this dressing? Vinaigrette? Vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. The sourness goes so well the with the oyster. Yes, the sourness of the sauce goes so well with the oyster. So I just built my sisik sandwich. Is this is this right? Am I doing it right? Am I doing the dish justice? All right, let's dig in. So, there's so much flavour going on and the bread is, is the perfect complement to the tuna sisik. So another dish has arrived, it's called the home style classic. Other than the fried chicken, what else is on it, Jude? What kind of rice is that? Fried rice? Definitely brown rice. Brown rice? So we just tried the Homestar Classic it's and the winner, winner, as you can see, the chicken is really juicy and the brown rice is quite nice. There's, there's a sourness to it, right Jude? I just had a, a couple bites of the mushroom parsley fettuccine and you've got creamy flavours from the cheese and the cream and you've got depth from the mushroom and then the truffle comes in at the end and just ties everything together. It is perfect and well balanced. I am so ashamed of myself. I pride myself in eating every single morsel. Yeah, but <laughs> this amount for the two of us is just too much. Okay, so just as we said that we were full, dessert has magically arrived and it is from Coco Mama. I think it's their signature coconut 
ice cream dessert with, the, with mango, right? Cocoa and mango. Mm, the best of Philippines. Mm -hmm. In a coconut shell, too. Yep. Coconut ice cream is one of my Favorite. all time favorites. Really? Especially when I'm in Thailand or any resort. It's like something mandatory that you need to have. And it is perfect on a hot sunny day like today. The food here so far has been great and I really like the concept of Station X because you are not just bounded by that single hotel restaurant, right? You have so many choices at any price range you could think of. If you're in Hue, you can stay here and never leave the hotel. The next day. Morning guys, it's a new day today. We are flying out today unfortunately and we've got a fairly early morning flight. That's why we're awake right now and I'm going to take you through the full breakfast without rushing it like how we did yesterday. So we're at the buffet right now and from what I see, the salad remains the same. We've got the cereal like yesterday and the porridge is the same. I'm, going to, I'm definitely going to get that. But the soup is different. It's crab and corn soup. Ooh, we did not get any of this yesterday because we were so late. Scrambled eggs, pizza and some plain and chocolate pancake. Okay, so it's great to see that for the main items, which are these seven dishes, they actually change it on a daily basis. So we've got Shanghai rice, vegetable lasagna, smoked grilled crumbled eggplant. We've got, ooh, my lens is fogging. We've got fish fillet and garlic pesto sauce. Some breakfast sausages. Pork ray leno. Pork ray leno. Ray, rel yeno. Yeah, I'm not opening that. And some steamed rice. Okay, can I get two sunny side eggs? Thank you. Just a simple selection. We're actually short on time. So we're just done checking out now. We're just waiting for our transport to the jetty. It's been a great stay here, but I wish we had more time, especially to experience the pool. I also love the idea of Station X. Having this attached to your hotel makes a lot of things easier. Sometimes you're lazy to go out far to get some food, or sometimes you don't want to dine in at the hotel restaurant. This space enables you to experience a bit of the outside. It's also great that they have this communal chill or eating area, drinking, whatever you want to do. There's a swing there. We actually sat on the right bench there yesterday for one of the meals and everyone was having fun. The kids were running on this platform non-stop and it's just a, it's just a very, very happy environment to be in. So thank you once again to Hugh Hotels Boracay and Station X for having us during the short stay. We really had a great time and the staff were amazing. All right, enough chit chat. Now we really have to get to the airport. I'll see you guys there. Show me the tag they gave us, the sticker they gave us. So that's like a like a VIP pass kind of thing, right? Yeah, uh, to identify which yep. ones are their guests. So it's, everything's convenient for you. They yes. see it in the car. So we're going to have a small process to get back home. Jude, it's a longer bridge this time. The death defying. <laughs> And also the seas are more calm today. So we just arrived at the main island and now we have to take another ride to the airport. We got about an hour. Jude, we got an hour left. So we made it to our gate and this is one of the smallest airports I've been in but it's a nice experience to have going through big airports, small airports. It was a fun stay, right Jude? Fun and interesting. Oh yes, it was fun. Thank you so much to Hugh Hotel Boracay and Station X for having us. And we hope to see you guys the next time.